Welcome to a windy South Africa. The image you will see as Barack Obama. We just met the South African Barack Obama. Welcome to Casa de Sajid. Come on, guys. I thought we'd give you a little peek into where we are staying. With the Winchester, and I thought, you know, normally when you travel, it's better to get an Airbnb. It's more comfortable in the place you can do as you see fit. So we're at the Winchester. This apartment belongs to Mandy and Dean. So let's give you a little tour of what the place looks like. We're at the observatory, the location which is about 10 minutes from the city center, maybe about 12, 15 minutes from VNA, which is the main tourist hub. And you know, it's nice, it's quiet, we've got decent views, although it's quite cloudy today. I'm not sure you can get the best views. So pretty much this is the entrance. We've got a fully stocked kitchen. Just kidding, we don't. It's a man shack. Let's see what we have in here. <laughs> <laughs> All bitches, butter chickens and nuns. Anyway, we're not, we're not gonna show you what's in the fridge because it's pretty much a mess. However, Mandy and Dean, the owners of the apartment were kind enough to leave us basic amenities like coffee, tea, sugar, um, washing machines, dishwashers, everything is provided over here. Um, this is the main area. So it's a two bedroom apartment one end suite and one with a shared bathroom let's let's check out vicious room first you cleaned up nice so we've got two beds so you usually sleeps like this <laughs> let's see wish your bathroom is very clean huh I like the mess i made so really nice amenities, really cool vibe. Views are pretty decent. You get a look at the mountains, however, it's really cloudy, so you can't see much. This is where Vish spends most of his time editing. Again, Netflix channels, YouTube's, Prime Video, everything is provided. Here's a tip for people looking to grow the YouTube channel, if you're just starting off. So when you check into an Airbnb, right? What you're gonna do is you're gonna open YouTube and then whoever's logged in basically become a new subscriber. So the last person that logged in, what you do is you go and you search for your channel and you have a new subscriber. Best way to grow your subscribers, check into as many Airbnbs as possible and subscribe on every single one of the channels. Just kidding, don't do that. We'll unsubscribe, Ryo, wherever you are. These are the views we have. Back in. It's a bit windy. It's quite windy. Right. Let's save the best for last. The man shack. The love den. With no love making has been happening. But this is the main master. Pretty decent sized bed. We've got a decent view too. However, again, quite a lot of clouds. Good storage space. Yeah. And the washroom's pretty decent size too. That's that's the tour. Enough of staying at home. Let's go and do something. Our first stop is Billy's Barber, one of the best places to get a fade or a haircut in Cape Town.
So we just got a fresh haircut at Billy's and now we need to play tourist. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to head to a few spots and take you guys along with us. And we're at Bocap. This is apparently one of the oldest residential areas in Cape Town. If you do search on Instagram Cape Town, you'll pretty much see these colorful buildings pop up on your feed quite often. I am checking it out and it says on Google that it showcases local Islamic culture and heritage and was one of the oldest residential areas. So let's check it out. <music> Hey, so it is quite colorful, Marshall, like quite a few Muslim brothers. Uh, brother, remind me your name? Your, your name? Wahid. Wahid. Do you, would you like to be on camera on my channel, Wahid? No problem. Marshall. So quite a few Muslim brothers here. Yeah. I have the image of someone. Yes, Wahid. If I take a kippa. Yeah. The image you will see as Barack Obama. Bar <laughs> By the way. <laughs> By the way. <laughs> yeah, that's actually Similar. quite true. Well, Shukran, brother, you're ah. actually really friendly and approachable. Yeah, yeah. Thank you for okay, showing no us. Problem. No problem. Uh, how long have you been, like, you guys have been here for quite some time, right? Yeah, quite a while. Uncountable. So it's so like more than 20, 30, 40 yeah, years? Yeah, we are talking about over there. It's just... And it's, it's, a, it's a lovely place to live. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. But thank you, Wade. Yeah. You're really yeah. friendly and really yeah. approachable. No I really problem, appreciate no that. Problem. Shukran. No problem. Thanks. Up brother. Up Thanks. Up thank you. Thank you. We just met the South African Barack Obama. Um, but I, I think this place is quite stunning for pictures. It's like those Instagram babes, right? I mean, look at all the buildings over here. And this is what you don't see. This is this is behind the scenes of us lugging tons of cameras around. Vish has got another bag on him. How picturesque is that? Damn. Damn. What are those? It is one of the most photogenic places I've been to. Instagram worthy, pretty walls everywhere. A lot of tourists, so if you do decide to come here, come a bit early. The weather is a bit overcast right now. It's not that great, but I mean, just look at this wall. Yeah, and it stretches away across multiple streets so you can walk around, just keep your wits about you in Cape Town. You know, you never know what's going on, but yeah. Overall, I think it's a very pretty place, really nice, and there's more to see on that, and we're probably going to go and check out the museum right now, see what that's about. Hello. Yeah? Book up. It's just called Sajid Vayani. So the, the reason I started was for weight loss. <laughs> because I was like, I keep telling my friends I'll lose weight yeah, yeah. and I don't seem to do it. So they're like, why don't you tell the world? <laughs> I was like, challenge accepted. And then it just turned into this whole thing. Awesome. Thank you so much. Yeah. Cheers. Thank you. Bye. Right, so that was basically quite interesting. It's lovely, colorful, Instagram-worthy pictures, but I'm craving a coffee. So let's go look up a good coffee joint and see if we can get ourselves a cup of joe. We are on Bree Street, trying to find the Royal Oyster Bar. Apparently it's highly recommended, but we've been struggling for the past 10 minutes to look for it and you know, let's, let's see what we have down here. Gents, hey, okay. we're looking for Royal Oyster Bar. Have, have you, is I do you know that place? The what? Royal Oyster Bar. The Royal Oyster Bar, no, I don't know. Okay, thanks, thanks. One eternity later. This is what happens when you walk. This oh, guy. Sorry, it's closed down. It's permanently closed down. Let's find another place. Let's, let's find another place. Actually, we saw something interesting down the road, so we're going to go and check it out. Hopefully, they do pretty good coffee. For me, I am a sucker of neon signs and fancy taglines. 
and we saw something that appeals to both. We've been walking around quite a bit right now, so we've decided to mellow down a bit and find a place to eat. We're actually on Breeze Street. There's a combination of restaurants if you just go up and down and you can check them out. We are at Rosetta and outside love the dough. That's a pizza place. Unhealthy stuff that Vish is getting because he's a stubborn child. <laughs> I've ordered a coffee. Rosetta actually has Colombian and Kenyan coffee. And we're gonna check them out. And it's, I would say average budget about 1500 bob per person, which is around 10 bucks USD. Yeah, it's pretty decent area, chilled vibes. The weather is a bit overcast today, so we're not enjoying the sunny Cape Town and summer right now. Yeah, we'll show you a bit of a B-roll into the place and you can come and check it out. By the way, um, my coach is probably watching this video and saying, this m <laughs> Lee, this is the first meal I've had in three days, right? Back me up, I'm allowed a bit, a bit of a leeway. What's happening, guys? We messed up on the pizza because what ended up happening is this guy started feeling very tired and very nice, sleepy. Nice, nice. He's like, I need to go, bro. I've been traveling for work and I'm so tired. We ended up back at the apartment. We had a good sleep, freshened up. Now what we're doing is we're heading to one of Cape Town's most, I guess you'd say scenic and touristy destinations. It's called the Victorian Alfred Mall. And yeah, come along with us. Let's see what that's about. DNA guys and I mean this is the backdrop I was talking about just look at that I think Cape Town is probably one of the most scenic places I've ever been to now the Victoria Wharf is just full of restaurants it's got all your cafes and markets and so on and so forth so if you do come here it's a nice sorry sorry it's, it's a nice touristy location, so the prices are also based on tourists. If you want to do shopping, I'd recommend a completely different mall called Canal Walk. Here, everything is priced slightly higher. But if you're just coming for the views, get some good seafood, get some good steaks even over here, smoke a shisha, I think it's a fantastic place. And it's got the vibes. Look at that, I mean, I can't complain. What these guys do is the statues, they stand still all day. They don't move, they don't do anything until you put money in the box. And then they move about, sort of like Kenyan politicians, if you will. So we're gonna try and test out that theory whether these statues are like Kenyan politicians, they only move when you give them money. Thank you. Yes, I'm good, sir. Good. Kenya. Kenya. Yes. Welcome to Southern. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah. Yeah. It worked. It worked. It did. <laughs> That's pretty decent. We've been walking around by the pier and the bunch of restaurants, the vibe is really nice. It's, again, Cape Town is one of the more scenic places. So for Instagrammers, TikTokers looking at getting good pictures, just walk by the VNA, explore, come at sunset. It's actually pretty decent. What we're gonna do is I've always wanted to check out the Africa Trading Post. I've been passing it all this time. I'm not really sure what inside, what's inside. So let's get shit. And behind us is the African Trading Post. We've always been passing it. Never really known what's going in there. Let's go and give it a whirl, right? Let's go and check it out. It's like the Maasai market in Nairobi. Exactly the same. The only difference is this is better. 
I don't know why, but I like I like the pink magenta color. What do you guys think? There's there's always something eye popping about these colors. Back me up, bitch. What do you think? I mean, you've seen my room. Yeah, the neon pink. Yeah, especially this. Look at that zebra picture at the back. That's pretty neat. CFC, yeah? A, 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 D, A. Okay, okay, okay. Wait, so yeah, you did A so minor over there. So it's the same like I'm playing with this, I'm going to fuse you. You can just double yeah, 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 yeah. it. Yeah. Okay, yeah, that's nice. I appreciate it, brother. Thanks, man. No problem, man. Keep Cheers. playing. Cheers. Cheers. Thanks. Where are you guys from? Kenya. Kenya? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, I just came for a conference and okay. decided to take a day. Let's vlog about it. Uh, so we, you're definitely going to be on the vlog. Is there a oh. place? Is there a place I can find you, bro? Yeah, my, all my details are here. What's your name, brother? My name is Sajid Vayani. Sajid Let me. Vayani. Yeah, Vayani. yeah. Julian Win. Julian, I'll just take a. Yeah, oh. please. Just drop me a WhatsApp, Sajid, or an email, Where it goes. and I'd love to come. Yeah. Lovely. Yeah, that's that's nice, brother. Appreciate. It. Keep up. You, you've okay. got you, you've got soul to it, man. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Cheers. Cheers, brother. Cheers. I'm not sure if you guys agree, but for Kenyans, no matter where we travel internationally, the first place we always tend to go to is McDonald's or Starbucks, right? I mean, do you guys agree with that? Oh, on a side note, what we did realize is if you ever are coming to Cape Town to visit, Kenyans don't need a visa anymore. How amazing is that? The only issue you'll probably have is all the shopping you're gonna do in Cape Town, which by the way, is even cheaper than Kenya. And all the brands that you see in Kenya, the Woolworths, the Trueworths, it's on here, Zara, much cheaper. I think Kerry is gonna be the issue when you get back with all that shopping. So we need to figure out how to combat that. Maybe African Soleil exists in Cape Town. That was a great first day, and we just finished at the VNA. Now to top it off, we're at the top of Signal Hill, overlooking Cape Town. This is one of those things that doesn't cost any money. I mean, the only expense you have is just getting the Uber to the top over here. But look at that view, you can sit, absorb it. It shows Cape Town in its whole entirety, so highly recommend this.